Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yavashai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yavashai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yavashai, Yahawa Bashim Yavashai. All praise due to Yahawa Bashim Yavashai, dub honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. My name is Kanawak from Great Millstone, Toronto, doing a quick lesson. And this is going to be in regards to driverless. This is an article that I, um, I was inspired to do. I got this link from, um, I got this link from, from the brother Yawasso in the camp. He, uh, he sent me, I saw, I, I was on going through his WhatsApp and then he sent me that. So, um, this is real, man. And, uh, you know, because, uh, in 2019 prior to my incident or prior to what happened to me, um, I was a truck driver right? and basically, um, I would, I'd be like, I'd be delivering uh cargo you know, of uh, basically uh, for meat, like lamb, uh, veil or cow, you know, veil. And, um, you know, we'd have to like load, we'd have to load everything, you know, like through the line at the plant. And, um, you know, it was a uh, butch you know, or basically uh, the slaughterhouse, you know, and, uh, it's a company that I work for, um, you know, I, uh, worked my way up, you know, so I became a driver, you know, they're uh, very cool guys, uh, you know, Ontario Lamb, um, I work for that company and, um, I'm still not able to drive from 2019 till now. I'm still just, uh, in limbo right now uh, through certain things, but, you know, but pretty much, um, I was a driver and uh I'd have a I'd have a route. Sometimes I'd go through uh basically uh I'd go through all I'd go throughout the GTA, I'd have a route. Sometime I'd have a route of of ten places to deliver to, sometime twenty, thirty, you know, and you know, I'd have to get the job done and uh load up all the all the veal all the cow you know and I, you know me like i might look like i'm skinny but i would put some heavy veil or whatever and then i load up on the truck you know and then we'd have like you know some boxes or whatever and then we like have the line and you know like we just put the hook you know like with the with the uh with the goat the lamb uh you know, the veil and stuff. I'd have to load that on my shoulder, on my left or right, man. And like, you have to be strong, man. You can't be weak. And, um, you know, so, uh, you know, like that was my job every day. You know, um, I'd be, I'd be uh, driving by myself, you know. At first I was, you know, I was, um, I was a passenger, you know, and then like they were comfortable and they already know, like I already, uh, I know the greater Toronto area, so uh, so I would be by myself, you know, like pretty much, and I'd have a route, man. Even in the winter, you know, I have to back up, reverse, and you know, pretty much intense, man. But, um, yeah, so it says uh, Brampton says uh, that this is off of uh, in Saga or in Mississauga, right? This uh, article, driverless. Grocery truck, uh, driverless grocery trucks on the road in Mississauga, Brampton, and across the GTA. By. By, the clan finance or whatever I don't know how to say that that uh, that name, but it says, a new type of grocery delivery truck has hit the streets in Mississauga, Brampton, and other parts of the GTA. Right, and uh, I would like I would deliver through uh, all over, you know, um, no frills, Longos, Longos warehouse. I'd go all over from um, basically um, through Aurora, going all the way down to Markham, you know, going down to Richmond Hill, you know, going downtown. You know, going to the West End, going to Mississauga, going to Brampton, 
you know, sometime going to um, Hamilton, you know, yeah, go to Hamilton, you know, go to, uh, you know, I'd go to Niagara, you know, go to Oshawa sometimes, right? So, um, it says, uh, a type of grocery like delivery truck has hit the streets in Mississauga, Brampton, and other parts of the GTA. On, it says one that drives itself, right? So, you know, because it's a very stressful job. So now, in now, now, like now, now, like they could just have uh, instead of having you as a as a employee or a guy who has a truck or whatever, because it's like very. Uh, you know it's very strenuous or whatever like like you know like to have a reliable driver you know who's consistent like they could just have a uh like a driverless truck you know it, like to deliver your goods man you know i would deliver to uh, you know like spots like this like persian spots all over man you know um Ara iraqi spot you know so i i you know islamic so i knew how to like I knew how to, I, like I knew I was in the know like I, I like I was like, I knew how to communicate to to them and stuff like you know you know I say salam you know you know even though it's not I'm not um Muslim I say you know salam salam or whatever you know like they feel like you know sometimes like they look at me like they're like you know like they they thought that I was like a train or whatever right? but I'm Jamaican right? it says uh in fact there are five of them now on the roads in which on what delivered to be the first in this no said so the first innovation of the kind of canada all right so this is going to be the first thing in canada like basically that's going to deliver your your food or your food or your stuff uh like i know um like to your um, like to your grocery store or um, your restaurant, you know, and it's going to be more easier so that, you know, so they won't need like a guy like me, you know, you know, that would pull up, you know, and uh, I would do that stuff manually. So now it's going to be easier like for them, you know, to have a driverless car, man. And, and this whole thing is going to lead to the mark that, that you know this is gonna it's already happening right because everything this whole society now our society our way of life has has changed man you know from basically from 2020 no yeah from 2020 you know with the whole uh this like the covid or the whatever and um with, with you knowing this whole you know um like, like this whole thing has changed our way of life And um, I was talking to my boss, right? And he basically told me, um, basically, I'd go to uh, I'd go to the the I'd go to the slaughterhouse, the farm, and uh, my boss he told me, you know, basically the twenty thirty agenda, and that was from twenty twenty. He was telling me about that, you know. So I did my research, and yeah, you know, and and they're Sicilian, you know, they're they're Italian, but they're Sicilian. You know, they're very, uh, they're cool, man. They treated me good, man. I mean, I was at the hospital and stuff. They have uh, treated me very good and stuff, man. And um, I always could go and get meat from them. So even when I'm hungry, if there's none, I could always, I was always able to think or sometime I'd buy, I'd buy my meat, you know. But after that incident, whatever, like they always just hook me up, man. You know, with, with lamb or whatever, you know you know lamb goat or you know but i would just normally just buy the lamb whatever you know goats exp a little bit more man expensive man so drivers and drivers and pedestrians should be alarmed in them in the slot the loud blast company ltd that delivered vehicles on the city streets and highways that operates without anyone in the driver's seat 
So this thing is gonna be real, man. Because remember, I would go, I would basically, um, you know, I would deliver. All right, um, I would do my stuff at night too. Uh, basically, with the, with the, um, you know, I was gonna, you know, like with the delivery, you know, with the the alcohol or whatever, right? You know, that to deliver. So sometime I'd, uh, I'd basically. Um, at night, I do my little, I do my little delivery, you know, basically, like, cause, you know, not even Uber. I would do my, I had my little uh, company, whatever on my um thing, but now I just, I just uh, basically um, uh, I don't even uh, you know, my website, you know, is not uh valid. It's not like I just think cause I took a lot of losses from twenty nineteen till now, but uh. You know, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm um, just waiting up. But um, pretty much, I have to. I'm gonna go into some scriptures. But um, this whole thing that we're thing, this thing's gonna change our our, our way of life, man. And um, you know, even like you know, like I wanna get a be able to get a little truck and do my little stuff. But it's like, damn, man. Like, you know. You know this twenty thirty agenda, like they want, like they don't want you to be independent. You know, you know the damn robots are gonna, are, like are gonna take, it's gonna take, it's gonna take over the world, man. And yeah, like let me get that scripture. You know, because right now this is uh, shows you we're at the end of the Roman Empire, right? the pagan Roman empire and i want to go to uh revelation 13 and 12 and he had ex exercised all the power of the first beast and he have exercised power of the first beast like before him right and the first beast would be the roman empire the pagan roman empire right and they uh you know they were very great you know they had their time you know, and you know, um, seventy AD, like we were, we we fell, you know, and we, uh, you know, some of our people they went to Africa, you know, and 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 there, you know, our people and the people who were stuck in Jerusalem, all right, you know, um, when you go into the siege of Masada, or like Masada, or whatever, um, basically, the the siege of, uh, you know, like our, our people went up. You know, to the mountains up there, and um, or or like not into the mountain, but our people over Masada, stay um over you know very close to Jerusalem, you know like they fortified themselves right, and they were known as a Sakari, and basically uh, you know because they didn't wanna uh, you know, you know because they didn't wanna go against the Roman Empire right. And they basically, uh, they were starved out, you know, and then our people resorted to cannibalism and all kinds of things, man. And, um, basically the others or whatever, they, uh, you know, like they rounded them up and they went there and they sent them to, um, to Rome, you know, like thus we had the gladiator games and all that, you know, because, um, when you watch the movie gladiator with Russell Crowe. You know, and that was us. That was based upon our us, man. The Israelites who went to captivity. Just how, like now, our people are great athletes. Uh, LeBron James and, you know, Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan and all that, man. In the, in the, in like, in the arena. In the, or in the, yeah, in the arena. Every week. Because we, we know that the NBA is about to start. You know, and all these different, um games you know these entertains or this entertainment you know you know whereas this is the same thing all over again and he has and, and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and he caused the earth and them which dwelt therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed so basically this wound was healed, you know, when basically, um, you know, like, you know, uh, basically, um, like, basically, uh, like, when we fell as a people, because we, because during the Middle Ages, we were up, you know, like, we rose up, 
all right basically from um 193 193 ad with um septimius severus you know and then um what do you call it? 330 or 336 ad with Constantine the great and basically the uh, establishing um the like the church whatever but they were you know but they incorporated the church with um basically uh like Tammuz worship you know you know with um isis horus or Tammuz worship you know but they have him like oh you know like like a little boy like you know but you know as a, they have you know but you know but so it's just like Tammuz worship you know like that's why um that guy was wicked, you know, like that nigga was wicked, man. You know, Constantine the, the Great, you know, and um, we fell during the like 13th hundred of our people it got the um, Black Plague, you know, where our people were, uh, you know, like a lot of our people throughout Europe, you know, started dying because the most I was getting rid of like the two thirds, you know, of our people. So, so, I, so a lot of people died through Europe and basically uh, 1453 with um, the Ottoman Turk Empire you know that rose up you know and basically like from 1453 you know that uh, the, the Turks you know because they took over the, like the Byzantine Empire and uh, then the Turks was established and then we fell we went into captivity under the Turks and then from 1492 um the spanish the spanish portuguese inquisition right of the of the jews you know because we were uh you know and i i, I come out of that line you know um and as well as like the like the britain line but um basically uh we fell you know and and now we have esau esau's up he's he's he, he rose in he he rose back to power all right basically um from 1492 you know they uh with pope alexander the sixth of rome he basically uh like painted he like he used that guy i forgot the guy but he painted like he painted you know on that they did like they did like the iconoclasm where they painted themselves you know as the like as the as the as the saints all right and they did the iconoclasm, right? And they painted over our images, right? And he had both great wonders, so that he make a fire come down from from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, right? So during, um, like during, from basically uh, World War Two, whatever, like or like post post World War Two or whatever with the uh with the Hiroshima Nagasaki, right, you know, um like with a little boy and big boy, all right. They basically they they bombed up those people, you know, and they did their experiment man and they and they did a lot of things, man. You know, so they saw they have a lot of things to pay for. And they deceived them that dwelt on the earth by the men it's like it by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beasts saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image unto the beast which he have had the wonder that he would that like it, which had the wound by a sword and did live right so basically the image you know you know like they're gonna have basically these driverless trucks you know these driverless cars everything is gonna be driverless you know you're gonna be you're gonna get the c hip the chip that's gonna be implemented with the rfid technology you know and basically for the past that two years you know like they from 2023 like they started uh yanking people in their flesh you know and um you know it has a lot of has a lot of complication you know and it has the lucifer thing you know in their flesh 
and uh, basically um, this is a big experiment and has it linked up with the 5G so it just shows you where uh, we're at the end and uh, the Lord he's gonna have to make he's gonna have to come he's gonna have to make an intervention because uh, says this except for those days no flesh shall be saved and he had the power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed all right it's lucky i think uh it's okay uh, like, yeah like I, I like i forgot to script uh like i forgot to uh skip 13 and he had great wonders was it 12 no Sorry, 12, Slakia. Or was it 11? Yeah, Slakia. And also, yeah, this is Revelation 13, 11. And he had beheld another beast coming out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. All right, so basically like the plebeians and uh, like Petruans. All right, during the Roman Empire, you know, like they were like, you know, when they basically, uh, just like now, when they have the, the, the you know, on, on, like basically, the, it's the same thing, the same art, same, it's the same people coming back, you know, with because they're calling themselves, um, they're calling themselves, um, Republican, you know, what do you call, um, what's the other one thing with the Joe Biden, you know, that's his party and stuff and then the same thing here in Canada they call it um conservative you no know, liberal it's the same it's the same system man you know so it's like that's why the Lord's gonna have to come and intervene so verse 16 and he caused off because of all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead so we know with that mark when you go to the, you go to the karagma so it's going to be an incision right and um you know and he saw he's he's he, he's speeding things up quick you know and uh i already you know i feel that Esau, he's trying to he's trying to supplant people because a lot of people already you know that got the thing in their in their arm you know the um you know the the, the, the uh, like the drug in their arm and whatever and then it's linked up with all kind of nanotechnology or protein or whatever with the lucifer and thing and then yeah so um you know like so the lord he's, he's gonna have to make a uh like intervention man because uh if the lord doesn't come and uh the lord doesn't come and do this thing man like you know like no flesh is gonna be saved Um, yeah, because there's a thing that says, um, I like, this is a very good one too, yeah. Yeah, I just, I started, at, yeah, Job 20 and 4. No, if thou not this of old, since the triumphant, since, no, if thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphant of the wicked is short, and enjoy the hypocrite well, for a moment. So yeah, Esau is the biggest hypocrite, man. He he painted himself like he's uh like he's uh the saint, you know, and all, all kinds of things, man. Esau, Esau believe you know Esau has a lot of hypocrisy. He's, he's that he's a great actor, man. That the triumph and the wicked is short, and enjoy the hypocrite but for a moment. Though his excellence, he mount up to the heavens. And his head to reach onto the clouds, right? With his space station, you know, SpaceX, and all these, you know, that there's, they're always going up in space, man. They're sending these satellites. They're, they're doing all kinds of things, man. You know, so the Lord, he, he has to come, right? and you know, and it shows you that Esau got his blessing when you go to Job twenty-seven. Oh, no, it's like when you go to Genesis twenty-seven. You know, about Esau's blessing, as to you know, like he, he's gonna be. Uh, when you get to he like he got his he got his blessing you know and, and like that's a part of his blessing man you know to have his space station you know and um yeah um he, 
yet shall he perish forever like his own dung so you know like you know when you take a nice piece of a nice shit you know in the morning <laughs> you know and uh or, or at night man and you, you know and then you go you you know you feel good you know that like, you know like that's gonna be esau man because esau you're gonna he's gonna fall man you know and and you know after that thousand years man you know like you know like you're you know um like you're not gonna have no need you know like you're not gonna have no need on on this earth man so you know like we don't know like what the lord's gonna do or you know, how well, you know because the most you know you know but there's gonna be no more either mites on this earth man and um yeah there's pretty much more let me uh think it says uh the driver it says the self driverless socket it says the self driving must it says it says the multi like temperature trucks will deliver goods to Loblaw stores in Toronto, Mississauga, Brampton and other suburbs using fixed routes, right? So me like I would basically have a route, sometimes ten routes, sometimes twenty, sometimes thirty when it's very busy there you know so so everything's gonna be driverless this is a very uh good article blah blah yeah i would deliver to them too you know all that i'd, I'd, I'd like i would go to um the stuff downtown i'd go like right by the arena right there Right by the uh, the the Air Canada because there's a metro right there. I thought it was that metro or thing or la or long. No, I think it's like a metro down there. Oh, I, I would deliver down there too. Over by uh, Young and over by Young and uh, Young and Young and Queen there. I'll deliver to that little thing. I'll go underground. I'll deliver stuff down there too. So yeah, I was really out here. I was out here very delivery and was very ambitious, but um I got a little setback, but I give you know everything happens for a reason. But um I'm gonna go into this. Yeah, man. So this is uh, Esau, his his blessing, man. I send money to my family and friends internationally. The Remedy app is secure and safe. You're not seeing things. This delivery truck is driving without a human behind the wheel. Lobla has five self-driving trucks. But they won't be coming to your front door. They'll only be used between the warehouse and some stores. It's a bit more manageable because you're going on a fixed route between locations that you know. The pilot project started back in 2020 with someone in the driver's seat. Yeah, and this is for uh, educational purposes. But yeah, but this is his 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 miracles, man. And, uh, you know, this is with his technology. You know, Esau mastered everything. Man. He's he mastered man. He mastered a lot. He, he Esau is very his his heart is deep. It says that he's wiser than Daniel when you go into Ezekiel. So the he, the man's very man's deep man. Those German scientists, you know, those Nazis or whatever, or, you know, and basically basically like they have that same wisdom like Tubal came. You know, because they're very wise. You know for safety. Since then, they say there have been no accidents. We have multiple different sensors on the truck. So uh, multiple LIDARs, multiple cameras, multiple radars as well. Regulators gave the green light. Now the safety driver has moved to the passenger seat. And yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, when I was staying, like, you know, I could have been, yeah, doing certain things, but, you know, but I have like a certain thing in my uh, flesh, whatever. But, um, yeah, man. <sighs> Bro, this thing is real, man.
could be removed entirely in the coming months. Gaddick, the U.S. startup developing the technology, predicts driverless trucks will be 30 percent cheaper than regular ones. To address the driver shortage and meet the demands of the end consumer, this kind of technology, this kind of solution is very critical. There are 30,000. Yeah, so you see, you see all this is, you know, so all these nations, what ESA is, is the master behind this stuff, man. You know, these, and then these damn Elamites and whatever with this, you know, they're, you know, that they're pushing this damn technology too. You know, so, you know, so they're not going to be no work for Egypt, man. I think there's that, the thing, I think that, um, that's somewhere what, what the Lord says, there's going to be no work for Egypt in that day, man. And that's what, that's what's going to be, man. You're not going to be able to work. You're not going to be able to be, do no damn delivery for no truck or Uber, Uber or whatever. You know, you, you, this is going to be a, a this is going to be a cashless society. Man. You you watch that movie uh, with uh, Sylvester Stallone and uh, what do you call the guy? I don't know. Wesley Snipes or whatever. When you watch that movie Demolition, man, and like this is what we're living in, man. This damn demolition, man, age. You know, you watch that movie, and that's what, and like, and like, um, like that was one of my favorite movies, man, as a um, as a teenager, man, because um, I'm a I'm a I'm a eighties slash nineties baby, you know, but um, you know. Well, you know that that was one of my favorite movies, man. And we're living in this age, man. Uh, I think his Diamond Phoenix, right? Which, which would be um, uh, it'd be Wesley's character, right? The the demo demo listen, and that yeah, this thing was uh nineteen ninety three, man. The demolition man. This is for educational purposes. Yeah, man. So the Lord has to come, man. Like that's why this place is gonna be ultimately demolished, man. You know, like when the Lord comes, Yahweh Shai as the rock. You know who's gonna do? Who's gonna break down all like all kingdoms? You know, that's what's gonna have to happen, man. And Daniels. Du producteur qui vous a donné piège de cristal et. I think that was in uh, French. Oh, this is the demolition man. Hold on. And so Vesta Stallone, you know, he's uh, you know, he's Sicilian. century, ravaged by violence, a society of perfect order will arise. Criminals will be frozen and reprogrammed in cryogenic prisons. The prisoners are ice cubes. Their criminal instincts are being reprogrammed as they sleep. Aggression and deviant behavior will be totally eliminated. Frankly, not equipped to deal with the situation. Said 2032, man. We know that these people, that their plan with this um, World Health Organization, they wanna basically have this thing with, with like with the, uh, like with this 2030 agenda, man. And basically, everything's gonna be cashless. You know, you won't. You know, everything's gonna be. Um, everything's gonna be like 
like every, this whole thing that like you won't be able to drive you know there's no there's not gonna be no gas fueled cars and all that shit everything's gonna be electric you know and um you know so they don't have no need for us anymore as humans basically man like that's why the lord has to come man it's the world of peace and calm we're police officers we're not trained for this kind of violence how is the fiendish simon phoenix apprehended back in the 20th in the end it took just one man john spartan you mean the demolition man Conditions of your parole are full reinstatement into the SAPD and immediate assignment to the apprehension of Simon Phoenix. Two mortal enemies. Just dropped in to say hi. From another time. Pass is over, John. Time for something new and improved. Oh, hell. We'll be unleashed on a future that isn't big enough for the both of them. Sylvester Stallone. Wesley Snipes. Man. Yeah, man. So you know, you know, like we gotta get our mind already uh, made up. You know, you might work at a warehouse. You might do certain things. The only thing, you know, uh, what you could do if you have any skills, you know, any trades or whatever, uh, construction, uh, you know, doing drywall, you know, uh, marble, whatever, you know. Uh, you know, like, you know, like those, those things are always going to be uh, needed, you know, to build, right? And because um, all these other, uh, like all these other industries, certain, you know, certain, certain, certain industries like mine for uh, being a, a, like a, a, like a driver or whatever is not going to be needed, you know? And uh, so we got to get our mind, uh, you know, thing because it's gonna get very real and um this is another one too then i'm gonna close imagine a car that lets you drive with no windows and uh, this one is for uh, educational pur purposes this is uh driving a a humvee with no windows exclusive look uh, at honeywell 360 like display and then i know that honeywell that's a german company man and uh, basically this is uh you know like this is their miracle man in revelation 13 you know and absolutely no view of the road it feels like something you might expect out of a bond film or on the batmobile but this futuristic spy tech is real it's a mixed reality headset called the 360 display from honeywell it can be used in virtually any vehicle and it gives you a 360 view while you drive even if you can't see a thing it's designed for military vehicles driving in situations with low or no visibility think armored trucks or cars driving in dangerous environments but this isn't just for off-roading honeywell says the tech could be used in everything from fire trucks to ships and i'm gonna get that one that scripture i'll stop here except those days shall be short and no flesh shall be saved i think it was in matthew Like that's why they're moving this thing fast, man. And like the Lord has to, he has to, um, like he has to put them in their, in like in their, in their, in their steps, man. He, like he has to, like he has to put this thing to a halt, man. Because otherwise, they're gonna, this whole thing is gonna, is gonna slaughter us, man. That's why the Lord has to come, man. And we'll have mercy upon us, man, because, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, it says why it's a Psalms two. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? All right, and this is this plan of the of the new world. Of the For then shall be great tribulation, such as would not since the beginning of the world nor even so even 
shall be so that we're at this time you know like we're at the end of their empire so they're you know like we're basically living under the robots you know because right now like that's what it is it's gonna be a robotic age industrial age you know and uh the fourth industrial revolution you know so that's why the lord has to come because otherwise you know like we're not gonna be able to survive till you know like you know like <laughs> bro um Great tribulation. Tribulation. Strong's G twenty three forty seven. Thlipsis. Thlipsis. A press a pressing a pressing it says together pressure metaphorical. Oppression, more surely oppression make of a wise man mad. That's in Ecclesiastes seven. All right, the so, uh the songs. I'm like, yeah, This is uh written by uh, about uh. It says surely oppression make for a wise man mad. So that like, we're being oppressed, man, and the Lord has to come, man, because th these people want to oppress us. Affliction, tribulation, distress straights and it's gonna get very straight you know um you know you gotta certain you know like we gotta get out of our uh our comfort zones you know you see this <laughs> one room you know the kind of, eh? you might like you know like you might have to shack up you know like if you if you have a uh if you have a um you know a room you know if you have like a five five room or six room house and it's just you and your kids or whatever like you might have to like you might have to help out a, a, a brother man or need because uh right now or like or you might have to help out certain members of your of your family right because right now you know uh everything's everything gone gone high man a lot of people are being home are homeless you know, a lot of our people are homeless right now, man. You know, our, there's a lot of pressure, man. You know, so uh, you can't say, yeah, you know, that like, you can't be like, yeah, I'm, I'm making money. You know, like, everybody wants to make money, you know, shekels <laughs> or, or, you know, make money, you know, in the trading or whatever. But uh, there's not going to be no, uh, no, uh, no Uber or no, uh, like no damn delivery for no uh for no alcohol you know or like or, or no nothing everything's gonna be digital man everything's thing you know like they already have this thing already set up yeah that's why i said i retired last week and i'm like i know i'm like i'm not i'm done with that um I'm done with the rat race or whatever because it's not because I already, I see that you know what I see what they're doing man All right, and and like this is a damn rat race there's a song with Bob Marley the rat race you know I feel like um you know that guy could be a Jake you know because um they say that his uh his they say that um his basic lineage, you know, that goes back to the Syrians. So I, I don't know. We know we're gonna figure out who these guys are because he had great, great music. But um, and except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So that that's what it's gonna be, and uh, that's why the Lord's gonna try us, right? So you know, I like you know, like lot of you know, sometimes you know, like certain brothers. You know, like we're proud too, right? So like we don't want to be proud, you know. So the most high is gonna try us and see whether if you're gold or silver, man. You know, uh, Sirach two, also, so uh, Revelation two and uh, ten. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, the deceiver, shall cast some of you into prison, that you shall be tried, and you shall be. You shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee the crown of life. So we're gonna go through a lot of 
trials man it's not gonna it's not gonna be 10 days you know like you know like 10 days it might be a a, a certain amount of time you know and the most are gonna try us man you know some of us might be persecuted you know and basically get uh the damn guillotine you know you know some of our people is gonna be is gonna get spiritual power you know and they show you these things when you watch i when i you know when i was at home um basically um 2019 like after my that incident in july 2019 all right until now i was watching a lot of uh black uh what is it that movie um uh, black lightning luke cage and all that uh x-men you know so we're getting you know like like they know that like you know like that's why those hollywood like uh writers and stuff they have you know like they know who we are and they know that we're the people you know we're we're yeah how we're god chosen people right and there's gonna be a lot of miracles you know that's gonna think so like that's why there's gonna be uh you know like you know like uh, uh, like they already have something prepared i was watching a video of uh like one of the brothers and basically he said he had a vision he had a dream a vision and basically he said that basically they already they know that spiritual power is coming all right it's, you know but they have something to like basically to do you know like uh like they have a something uh, like they're trying to alter it you know like, like they're doing like whatever they're trying to do you know but you know but it's not it's not gonna work man you know but um with that, I'd like to say all praises due to Yahweh by Hashem and um, like and let double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. And um, this is just, I'm gonna. Imagine a car that. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna um, finish this out and. Uh, yeah. I'll praise duty how about Shem and uh yeah man, so we're getting into uh tribulous serious times and um we gotta get our mind ready man. The devil's gonna come after us man. You know, Revelation two and ten. Alright, so we gotta purge out you know our our pride and stuff because uh you know everything's gonna be straight like you know like you know like we're gonna go through the straight great so it's not it's it's not gonna be an easy ride man and a lot of people are gonna fail a lot of people are gonna are gonna go back into this in it like into the system man. you know so you want to stay on the straight gate right and and we have to use the scriptures you know like the comforter like that 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 like you know that that's gonna comfort us in these times so with that, I say I'll pray to you. How about Shema Shai? Hopefully this video was edifying. And uh, I'm going to make this thing run out. So I'll pray to you. How about Shema Shai? Shalom. Just for off-roading, Honeywell says the tech could be used in everything from fire trucks to ships and aircraft. And one day you might even see it in your regular everyday car. We got an exclusive look at this brand new tech and how it could change the way we drive. The Honeywell 360 display is essentially a head-mounted visor that you wear while you drive. You just climb in, pop on the helmet and flip down the visor. Then you're seeing in mixed reality. A view that brings in all the data and vision from sensors installed all over your vehicle. Honeywell tested this tech around a military-grade H1 Hummer, fitted out with cameras, sensors, and off-the-shelf infrared night vision. But the idea is that it's sensor agnostic, so you can use this display in any vehicle. It's really taking sensor inputs from cameras, um, you can use speed indicators, pretty much anything that can be displayed or that has a sensor on the vehicle and it's feeding that into our display. Uh, with the camera system, uh, we're really creating a 360 degree virtual view dome. So everything's blacked out, um, but you're sitting in the car and you can drive it 
Basically, it feels like you're driving in a convertible. When you're driving, the display can provide information like terrain, traffic, or even landmarks. It lets you look around to see alternate views, like a rear view camera, and it shows you a kind of third person drone view that gives you a top down view of the car. We've seen some of these features on consumer vehicles with things like advanced parking assistance. Then there's Tesla's driving visualization, which shows you an animation of your surroundings while you drive. But you certainly can't can't drive your Tesla with black plastic covering all of the windows. And the other thing? If you have cameras underneath the vehicle, you can actually look down through the floorboard and see the ground. Honeywell says the headset is ultra low latency. They wouldn't tell us the exact latency speed, but that it's designed to show high res footage in pretty much real time. It's also stereoscopic, so your left and right eyes are actually fed different images, just like they would be in the real world. All of that, according to Honeywell, means the driver doesn't get motion sickness or visual fatigue. That makes sense. With a lot of VR experiences you might have tried, you're standing still while the visuals you see whiz past. But in this case, the world you're moving through as you drive, the turns, the stops, they match what you're seeing through the digital display. As a result, Honeywell says there's no real learning curve with this tech. Just put on the headset and go. It is literally a climb in and drive experience virtually no training required. From my personal experience, it's amazing. Driving around in probably less than 60 seconds, and it was truly like driving in a convertible, but without all the wind blowing in my hair. Honeywell developed an early version of this technology for DARPA's Ground X Vehicle Technologies Program in 2018. The goal was to create a system that would make military vehicles like tanks or armoured cars more mobile and agile. That early prototype tech was installed into a blacked out ATV. According to DARPA, drivers using the Honeywell display did their test drives at roughly the same speed as drivers who had full vision. But there are also use cases outside the the military. Autonomous vehicles, even ships, uh, ground vehicles, heavy construction, mining, really any vehicle that has, you know, potentially limited visibility or needs to operate more safely in a low visibility or hazardous environment. And importantly, it's potentially not just for ground transportation. Honeywell says it could integrate sonar data on ships to help crews navigate crowded waters or in urban air mobility. In the future of autonomous aircraft and drones, this tech could help pilots navigate through increasingly crowded skies. Yeah, I remember when I was in school. I mean, I remember when I was young, I was watching um, the Jetsons, you know. And uh, yeah, and we're, we're living in that, man, because they have the, all these drones and whatever. So, you know, you know that they, are, they, they have some shit, man. Uh, you know, that's all 20, 30, 40 years ahead of his of his time man skies and while it was tested I in a say all praise due to your how about and i'm gonna run out this this the video so with that shallow one Humvee, you might even see it in your own car one day it absolutely could be adapted into consumer vehicles um where you you put on a visor or you know maybe someday in the future a pair of glasses and you can have your speedometer, your navigation directions, your stereo controls, you know, whatever it is, you have all the sensors you have in the car now, your backup camera. Um, you won't have to look down at your console. You can see it right in your field of view. So what do you think? Could this be the future of driving? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to CNET for plenty more cool futuristic car tech and plane tech and boat tech. We've got it all really. I'm Claire Riley for What the Future, bringing you the world of tomorrow today. Uh, she looks like a damn, uh, damn AI, man. <laughs> I don't know if this, this is even a real motherfucker, man. So with that, let's see. I'll praise you to y'all watching my show.